What's going on everybody? Chuck here and hope that you are having a fantastic day today. It is windy today for some reason, but you know something we haven't done here on the next DIY lawn channel in a while? That's an application style vlog video. We've done a lot of me sitting in the garage talking about stuff and with some B-roll, but no, we haven't actually gotten in the lawn, walked and talked and all that kind of stuff. So I figured this would be a good video to go ahead and talk about the second application in the next seeding and overseeding pack, which is 901 Green Start. Now we are on day 21 since I did my overseeding project here at my house. So on day one, or I'm gonna call it a day, application day, I went ahead and put my seed down and I did all that kind of good stuff. And then I did the first step in the seeding and overseeding pack, which is applying 15 ounces per thousand of 1621 to Green Pop. That is the Green County Fertilizers starter fertilizer, along with three ounces per thousand of RGS. Let me go ahead and show you how the lawn is looking at day 21. The sun's not in the perfect position to really show. I'm hoping it's showing up well on camera, but you can just see the, or at least I can see with the bare eye, that the quality of the turf has changed since the summer to now in the fall. Now, yes, the fall plays a big part in that. The cooler temperatures really makes the fescue do what it wants to do. And this time of year, fescue is gonna respond the most, but it's not ever looked this good. And looking down here, you can see where you have the thicker grass blades, which is the existing tall fescue. Then you have the thinner grass blades, which is the baby grass. So you can see just the thickness of the turf is responding so much better than it did last season. So things are looking really, really good. Now, I'm not gonna hide things from you because things aren't perfect. Like right here along the sidewalk, which is always gonna be a problem spot because people are gonna walk on my grass, which is gonna compact these areas. But then you have the heat from the sidewalk going on the turf, so this area is always gonna be a bit of a struggle. But even it's coming in slower, but nonetheless, it is coming in. Along my driveway, same thing here. Now we've started parking in the garage to help with the compaction, but things are filling in quite nicely. It's not as tall as the main lawn. I just actually mowed it at two and three quarters inches. This area barely got, uh, barely got cut at all, but you can see it is thickening up and looking a whole lot better. The area that's not responding that well is the parkway strip here. I'm probably just gonna end up digging this up and putting river rocks or something like that. This area is just really tough for some reason to really grow much of anything. So I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do here along this. Same thing right here. Um, had a lot of die off uh, from the summer. Uh, especially when I went away on vacation, the sprinkler didn't hit this area, but it's it's getting there, but it's still thinner than most. But even here, it is looking really, really nice. Have a couple of weeds that popped up, some clover, but we'll take care of that uh, over time. But it's looking really nice. So hopefully that shows up really well. We have come a long way since all the mess ups of last season, uh, doing the renovation, all that kind of stuff, because the lawn is looking the best it has looked since I bought the house. It is, the color is great, the turf quality is there, the thickness of the grass is there. It just looks so good and it helps that we're in the right time of year for cool season grasses, especially here in the transition zone. So now that we are 21 days post overseeding, it is time for the second step of the seeding and overseeding pack, which is applying 12 to 15 ounces per thousand of 901 Green Start. So while your first application in the seeding and overseeding pack is to get that seed started, is to crack the seed, get the germination started, get the roots diving down deep, the second application is just as vital as the first application and the last application. I know a lot of us lawn enthusiasts, we look at the numbers, we look at the analysis of the fertilizer, and you're gonna see 1621-2 green pop and say, rrr, rrr, rrr. You're gonna see 1801 with that 18% nitrogen and go, oh yeah. But you're gonna see that 9% nitrogen, 1% potassium, and 901 green start. You're gonna say, meh. But that meh is actually very important to keep your grass growing and keep it moving in between those applications. If you're enjoying this video, if you're enjoying the look of some nice green, tall fescue, go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up. 
right now. It takes just a second. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up. The thing is though, is that it's baby grass. So a lot like other things that are young and growing, it's hungry. It wants to keep being fed so it can get the nutrients necessary to grow up and establish. And that's what we're trying to do here in the turf. So that first application cracks the seed and gets things going. But the second application is gonna keep the grass moving forward, but you're not feeding a big boost of nutrients, but you're giving it enough to keep things moving. You're gonna keep those roots diving down because that's what we're really worried about here is establishing those roots so that when we get to the winter months where things get a little bit harsher so we can withstand those cold winter temperatures. So don't sleep a 901 green start. So actually yesterday was day 21 of the main yard, the 1500 or so square feet. Um, and then I actually was a day behind on the side yard just because the days are getting shorter here. So we're actually at day 21 here on the side yard which is 600 square feet. So that's the area I'm gonna be applying green start to today. So for this application, I am using the hose and sprayer that you get with the quart size bottles of Green County Fertilizer products or that you can purchase with Green County Fertilizer products. And this 901 Green Start, like I said, it's 12 to 15 ounces per thousand. I am going at the high rate of 15 ounces per thousand. I only have 600 square feet here, so I'm not using the full 15 ounces. I'm actually going with eight ounces, kind of doing some weird rounding math, but that's okay. Now the reason I'm using the hose and sprayer versus my backpack sprayer is the hose and sprayer is the preferred application method method for the seeding and overseeding pack. That's on the label. If you I'll put the PDF down in the description box below, so you can go ahead and read it for yourself. Uh, and the best way to make sure these products flow nice and cleanly through the hose and sprayer is to mix with water as well. So you can put the eight ounces in first, or put your liquid in your fertilizer in first then put water on top. I go ahead and put the required amount of uh, water into my measuring cup here. And so it's a 32 ounce bottle. So I went ahead and put in 22, yeah, 20, uh, 21 ounces of water or so. So I'll make sure I put in just above the 28 line. There we go. Maybe overkill, I don't know, but this is what I like to do. It's in there nice and clean. Do not mix. I know, you know, if you don't have a lot of time, you may want to go ahead and try to mix your RGS in here as well. Don't try, I mean, you could try that if you want. You may have a little bit of clogging. You may not. It depends on how much product versus water you have in here. Um, I could probably honestly get away with because it's such a small amount, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and apply that separately. Go ahead and get this applied. So now it's three ounces per thousand of RGS. Now with RGS, and me only having so it is only like maybe two ounces, if that, that I need. I filled it up with 20 ounces of water. Um, I really didn't need to water this down that much to be completely honest with you, but it is what it is at this point. All right, let's go ahead and get the RGS out there and this application's done. That's it. It's really not a complicated process. It may seem like, well, why do you need multiple steps? It's because it's baby grass. It wants to be fed because it needs the nourishment to grow. And this application, the 901 Green Start, is gonna give it the nutrients it needs to continue pushing through, continuing that top growth, continuing getting those roots diving down. The RGS also helps build the root mass. 
So this is just gonna keep it going throughout the growing season because now we are in the growing season for cool season, turf type tall fescue. And so we wanna go ahead, get this grass growing so that way when we get to the winter, it's able to hold up to the snow, the frost, the freeze, whatever the winter months can throw at it. So that is it for this video. I hope you all liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as that is what's gonna help get these videos out to a larger audience. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And God bless.